Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Raw Smackdown here on Very Cold Lasagna for the week of May 8th, 2023, where I talk about my personal highlights from this week's episodes of Raw and Smackdown. And I'm not sure if we're going to get to this five minute mark this week. Uh, usually I try to talk about it in five minutes or less, but there's a lot to cover this week. Not only did I not do a Raw Smackdown last week because it was a pay-per-view, but there's just so much to talk about with, well, the brand split going back in full force yet again and the new world heavyweight championship tournament starting up with four total triple threat matches on both shows so that being said we have a lot to talk about um i'm not sure if we're gonna get to five minutes but hey who cares <laughs> anyway let's get started shall we so we began the world heavyweight title tournament on raw we have two triple threat matches seth rollins won the first one over damian priest and shinsuke nakamura and in the second matchup finn balor won the second one beating the miz and cody rhodes i mean both matches were whatever but the second one finn balor got a little bit of help from brock lesnar towards the end he attacked cody rhodes as revenge for cody beating him in the way that he did at backlash he f5 cody rhodes on the solid steel floor finn balor would pin the miz and then afterwards brock lesnar would f5 cody rhodes through the announce table and then we got this wonderful more meme material from lesnar look at this face brock lesnar would challenge cody rhodes to a fight at night of champions and it was a little hard to hear what he was saying because of the piped in booze that you hear on the television broadcast like wwe chill on the piped in crowd noise i get it the crowds in jacksonville and where, wherever you go these days are not that great but you can do this better you can get a more livelier crowd by writing better shows just a little note on that but anyway brock lesnar challenged cody rhodes to a fight at night of champions cody rhodes accepted that match later on the night we've yet to see what that stipulation will be something hardcore extreme rules unsanctioned We'll find out in a matter of days and weeks. So anyway, I can't get over this though. I really can't. <laughs> it's too, it's just too hilarious. Look at this face! Meanwhile, Trish Stratus would also appear on Raw, putting up missing posters, handing them out as well of Becky Lynch, who hasn't been seen on Raw in about a month or so since she, Trish Stratus, and technically Lita lost the women's tag team titles to Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, like a month or so ago. Trish Stratus later came to the ring, cut a promo about how Becky's missing and all that, and she would vow to find her, but not before putting out pot shots of her daughter, saying things like, oh, she can't see her colors, she can't tell her colors right and all that, um, and questioning why she would name uh, her own daughter, name her doll after Becky. So after she used the old HBK troll trick uh, from 2005, Becky Lynch did come out and exacted some revenge on Trish Stratus. I'm not really sure what uh, WWE is trying to go for here. Are they going to have this match at Night of Champions? Or are they really going to try to stretch this out all the way to SummerSlam? Because at this time, I'm not, like, not really feeling it. Like Becky hasn't been there. Trish, since like I think it was like, two weeks ago hasn't been there as well and it's like man what is, i'm not sure what they're gonna try to pull for here i'm really not, like yeah they're back but it's like are they gonna do this at night of champions or they're gonna try to add some layers to it to make this happen at SummerSlam? it's like SummerSlam is like three months away people like are they really gonna try to add some extra elements to assure that this happens like it's a really long time something to consider so in the main event, we had the semifinal matchup for the Raw side of the world title uh, tournament. Seth Rollins beat Finn Balor to advance to the finals for the World Heavyweight Championship at Night of Champions. I mean, most people predicted it and it came true. Seth Rollins is going to face whoever was going to win the SmackDown side of the world title tournament. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. But Raw was pretty much a shit show. But... SmackDown was a stacked show, and let's see if it turned out any better. SmackDown, as I said, was a stacked show headlined by the world title side of their bracket, and you had a pretty banger, uh, pretty at least on paper, a banger triple threat matchup with Edge, AJ Styles, and Rey Mysterio. That's like a pay-per-view quality matchup right there. It still ended up pretty good, but it felt slow at times and a little choppy, uh, but nonetheless, I'm kind of sad about this result. Edge lost this matchup. I was pulling for Seth versus Ed, uh, Ed, Edge at Night of Champions, but AJ Styles won this matchup 
uh, with the phenomenal format forearm on edge. Meanwhile, on the other triple threat matchup, Bobby Lashley beat Austin Theory and Sheamus. That set up the SmackDown side of the semifinals with AJ Styles and Bobby Lashley later on in the night. Also happening on SmackDown, Roman Reigns finally came back since, <laughs> since the Raw after Mania, taking that month long ass vacation and was not really pleased with the Usos uh, as expected. He was displeased with the Usos recent failures, not just at WrestleMania, but on night one of the WWE draft where they lost that rematch to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. He was especially mad at their overconfidence, dedicating that rematch to Roman. He was about to whoop Jimmy Uso's ass, but Jay Uso stepped in and was forced to apologize so he didn't hurt his brother or anything. And then that's when the big reveal came. Roman Reigns took it upon himself to um, assure that the bloodline was going to challenge for the undisputed tag team championships, bring it back to them. But it wasn't going to be the Usos. It was going to be Solo Sokoa and Roman Reigns himself. So he, Roman is literally trying to pull his best Thanos impression. Fine, I'll do it myself. So at Night of Champions, it's going to be Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa challenging Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in Saudi Arabia. So there's been a lot of floating reports of how this actually is going to happen. But I mean, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to try to be into that conversation. But either way, I'm interested in how this turns out. Are they actually going to pull the trigger and have Roman and Solo actually win the titles off of Sammy and Solo? Uh, and or, or are they going to have the Usos turn their backs on Roman and Solo? Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be an interesting two weeks of how they try to build this up. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. But either way, the cracks are starting to form again, like real seriously in the bloodline. WWE. It's time to build this up. Like I said, time to build this up. Uh, trying to build the downfall of the bloodline. Also happening on SmackDown, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez retained their women's tag team titles over Bailey, Dakota Kai of Damage Control. Speaking of downfall, towards the end of the match, you started to see the further intensifying of the downfall of Damage Control. EO Sky tried to help them out uh, because Bailey's demands to go get the titles so I could hit them with it. But EO Sky was stopped by Raquel Rodriguez, who was playing tug of war with EO, and Bailey got distracted. And Liv Morgan pushed uh, Bailey into EO and got the fruit roll up win over damage control. So, Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, still the women's tag team champions, and rightfully so. Maybe in the next couple weeks, we finally get to see the end of damage control. Finally. And then in the world title semifinals, AJ Styles beat Bobby Lashley to go on and face Seth Rollins at night of champions so there you go ladies and gentlemen it's finally gonna happen the rematch for money in the bank 2019 seth rollins is gonna face aj styles to determine the new world heavyweight champion in saudi arabia so there you go so smackdown you know unlike raw was a more decent show uh, raw was terrible <laughs> with this new brand split but i'd like to know your thoughts um from this week's uh raw and smackdown did, did you guys like it? Did you guys dislike it? What were your personal highlights from this week's uh, well, WWE main shows? I'd like to get your thoughts in the comments below. But anyway, that's it for this week's Raw Smackdown. Pretty long, but there was a lot to talk about. Anyway, I am Dylan Lasagna, a very cold lasagna, signing out for this week's uh, edition of the Raw Smackdown. And until next time, peace out. Look at this, guys!